Hey everyone, Miss Dempsey here. This is a quick guide for round 6 of the Nations Cup for the Toyota Super Formula. Let's get this started. Your first breaking point is going to be when you hit the apex of this first turn here. You'll be breaking hard for just a moment, then ease off of the braking so you can have some more ability to turn. Aim for a late apex before you start to slowly accelerate. For these S's over here, it's all about throttle control. Try to get really close to the apex and try to manage your throttle to make sure you don't go off track. Go a bit slower through here so you can get yourself to the middle of the track so you can take this turn at full throttle. For this next turn, you can lift off the throttle for just a moment before you can go back on full throttle. Then start to brake well before the curb on the left ends. Brake in a straight line, then when you start to turn, start to ease off on the braking. Get the car pointed to the next section as soon as you can so you can get on the throttle. Then for this hairpin, you want to start to brake right after the curb on the right ends. Brake in a straight line, and when you start to turn, ease off on the braking. Slow down as much as you can so you can get the car pointed towards the next section as soon as you can, then start to get on the throttle as soon as you can so you can get a faster exit. Don't forget that this car has really good brakes so you can brake as late as the 50 meter mark that is on the right. Brake hard for a moment, then ease off of the braking because you have to make this turn obviously. Then get on the throttle, then brake before the curb on the right ends and go along the inside of the turn before you can start to fully accelerate. This car has a lot of downforce so you can take this next turn at full throttle without any worry. But for the final turn, you want to start to brake right before you reach the 100 meter mark. Brake hard in a straight line, then ease off when you're about to turn. Try to use a little bit of throttle when you're going through the apexes, and I mean a little just so you don't use too much and end up losing control. That is all for the lap guide, let's go ahead and talk about strategies. When it comes to pit strategy, a two stop is possible. The reason why I say that is because the racing soft tires wear out a bit quickly, especially if you don't bring the brake balance towards the rear, so there's a lot more stress going towards the front tires, so they're going to wear out a bit quicker. The other thing is that the pit stop time is pretty short. I think it's about 10 seconds, so you don't lose too much time. So all you do is just go into the pit stop, change your tires, and you're back up before you even know it. So in this race, I start on racing soft tires, pit for a new set of racing soft tires at the end of lap five, and then at the end of lap 10, I pit for racing medium tires. That way I can stick to getting faster times on racing soft tires and minimize the number of laps after you beat on racing medium tires. When it comes to fuel, you don't really have to worry about it. And one other thing that I want to note is that you can also use the overtake feature on the Super Formula cars. So you can kind of try to use that to make up for lost time, especially when your tires are getting a bit worn out. So, so when you're leaving the hairpin, you can activate the overtake button, get a bit more speed, and just try to make up a bit of that lost time with those worn tires. And the other thing that you should also think about is if you end up behind someone, you're going to be getting the dirty air, so you're not going to be getting as much downforce as you'd like. So you want to be a bit more careful about that. Slow down a little more and just try not to scrub your tires so you can conserve that tire life. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off now. Non-commentary versions are coming up. This is Mr. MCA. Wishing you a good race and I'll see you in the next video.